Okay, so there's a, a really good activity on languages online uh, which helps you to use a range of verbs in the perfect tense, both verbs that conjugate with être and avoir. Obviously, uh, most verbs, as we know, conjugate with avoir in the, in the perfect tense, but there are some 16 verbs plus all reflexive verbs which conjugate with être. So this is a really good activity for that, and it's about a visit to Paris. So first of all, we, we go on to languagesonline.org.uk that you can see here. You click into French, which is Francais, over here. And if we click the grammar button here, the hyperlink there, and then you need to find uh, this link here, which says the perfect tense. If we click into this, there are a range of activities that you could do to practice your perfect tense. There's an explanation here, which you might want to click into to, uh, to remind yourself. But the activity that, that I want you to do is this one here, where it says une visite à Paris, which is a gap fill exercise which is completing a range of verbs, which when we click into it, it looks like this. Now, when I just drop down here, you'll notice that the verbs are in brackets here. Passé, for example, voyager, arriver. The first question you need to ask yourself is, is the verb one of the verbs which conjugates with être in the past tense? Now, passé, in this sense, isn't a verb which conjugates with uh, être, so uh, how are we going to know that? We're going to look through our list of 16 verbs and check that obviously it's not a reflexive verb. We know it's not a reflexive verb because it doesn't have the word s in front of it. It hasn't got the reflexive pronoun s in front of the word passé. So it's not on my list of Dr. and Mrs. van der Tramp verbs, therefore it conjugates with avoir. So if I go into uh, to word reference, which I've got open behind this screen, I've already uh, I've already chosen to look up avoir here uh, because obviously you need to use avoir in the present tense. So we've got the present tense of avoir. J'ai, tu as, il, elle, on, a. Nous avons, vous avez, il, elles, en. So by using this verb, we know that we need to look for nous here. Pendant les vacances, nous. So which word goes into the next gap? We're going to use um, we're going to use this one here, which is nous avons. So if I type this word in, avant. And then I need to try to write in the past participle of the verb passé. Well, passé is a regular ER verb, which of course you can check by looking in a dictionary. And for the newer dictionaries, if it's got a number one next to it, it's a regular ER verb. A number two next to it, a regular IR verb. And a number three, uh, a regular RE verb. Well, this obviously is a regular ER verb. And for that, the rule is that we take off the ER and add an E with an accent. So if I just type this like this and remember that to get an E with an accent we press the Alt GR button which is to the right hand side of the space bar and hold it down and press the letter E and it comes up there and this is how you do that activity of course remember some of these verbs do conjugate with être you just need to look through your list of être verbs which you find in the Dr and Mrs van der Tramp uh, mnemonic which you've used recently